Austin Layman, and welcome to the next edition of Austin Weekend. Here with me is Dad, and we're here to say Cowabunga. Cowabunga, dudes. dudes. I know you. I knew you'd know that. Mm -hmm. And we, today we are reviewing the sequel to Michael Bay's original movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Out of the Shadows. Yes, part two. The second one from uh, Michael Bay. And basically, it follows our favorite turtles. Uh, Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. Leonardo, yeah. It follows our favorite four turtles. And, uh, of course... Uh, Shredder. Shredder. Shredder's... Uh, He's back. Shredder's back in it again. I like his suit a whole lot better this time than the first time. His suit this time is more of a classic Shredder suit, so... So that's uh, pretty good. But it follows uh, the storyline, basically, as you've seen in the previews, of the Shredder teaming up with the... Krang. The Krang. The Krang, and they're trying to invade the uh, uh, world and take it over and destroy everything. So, And then, of course, we have Megan Fox as... April O'Neil, which on makes in. no sense. But, in hey... My, in my opinion. Yeah. But and then we have uh, also we have uh, Casey Jones is introduced in this one too by the same. Why way. didn't they introduce him in the first one? That confuses me. No, oh, no, I guess I guess Michael Bay just didn't want to. But it's played by the same actor who plays the Arrow on the Arrow series. So that's that's the same guy who plays Casey Jones. I think his costume doesn't look half bad either. No. No, honestly, I was worried about them bringing Casey Jones in. I thought it might be just cornball, you know, cornball guy coming in, you know, da 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 da. But it actually, it, it it actually fit pretty good. I liked this maybe better than the first one. Uh, it seemed more well put together. It was a little more well put together. I personally, I'm a classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yeah. guy. I still have a lot of problems with Turtle being a rat. And not being a human turned into a rat and losing that whole storyline of him and Shredder actually being enemies and foes. You're talking about Splinter. Yeah, Splinter. Yeah, yeah Splinter. Sorry. Yeah, Splinter. I have a problem with Splinter being a rat turned into a talking rat rather than a person turned into a rat. But anyways, I'm just a purist when it comes to that. Uh, that's but this movie does well enough for it to be respectable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a, that's maybe why I didn't like the first movie as much, because it took so much off the storyline. I really hate it when people take movies and they just decide to just change the whole plot and the whole characters and the whole everything of characters that you've loved forever, Ghostbusters. But I already did that. Yeah, that's, i got a bad feeling about that one, too. I already did a video yeah. on that. Go ahead and check that out. Yeah. But, yeah, but honestly, I, like I said... If you can get past the the problems of them changing everything and the turtles having lips, <laughs> yeah. still look a little freak. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good story. It was a it was a it was a decent movie. Uh, special effects were good. Yeah, mm -hmm. in terms of Michael Bay standards, this is pretty good. There were still it, it was still nonstop action from beginning to end, which is classic Michael Bay. Yes. Yeah, you have to. You have to admit that. Yeah, it's uh, it is nonstop. It's blow him up, rock 'em, sock 'em, robot. He's done ever. that ever since this, the first movie he made. Mm-hmm. So, so that is that runs right along the line. It's it's classic Michael Bay. Michael Boom Bay, because <laughs> he blows up everything. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, but uh, but it was a decent movie. What you what you guys think about it? It was pretty good. I thought the action sequences, although maybe a little too frequent, classic Michael Bay, although mm. that, mm. it does flow well with the plot, mm. which is not really common in a Michael Bay film. No, no, no. M normally it's more flash than it is story, but this had a decent story in it. Uh, like again, it didn't follow the comics or the cartoons or nothing, but it was still a, it was still a pretty good story. It was it was worth watching. I thought it was pretty good. Well, maybe he, maybe Michael Bay wanted to do something new. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. 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 Who's who's your who, who's your favorite character? Did you do you have a favorite turtle in, in this one? 
I have a favorite turtle. Who's your favorite turtle? I, I can guess. Michelangelo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because he is just crazy goofball. Always cutting up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like Donatello. I like the scientific nerdy turtle. You like the... You like the I like, smart, I like nerdy. The nerd, I like the nerd turtle. Yeah, nerdy turtle. I like the nerdy turtle. Uh, yeah, I said it actually. Uh, it actually played out pretty good, though. Okay, now what did you think about the overall feel of it? Well, I said it was. It was pretty good. I said I didn't. I didn't. I, I honestly, I went into it. it I went into it doubting it a little bit just because. Uh, I was Bay. afraid of what Michael Bay might do to it after he gave the turtle's lips in the first one. Uh, I was wondering what he might do in the second one, but uh, he made it better. He like, made it was better than the first. The one. sequel is better than the original, which is odd. Odd. Normally the sequels suck, but yeah. it was actually pretty good. Yeah, but we'll talk about that one. sequel trend later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part of it? Was there a favorite scene or a favorite part that you liked? Well, there was one scene, but I don't want to spoil it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to keep it to myself here. But basically, mm -hmm. it's a pretty good scene. Mm -hmm. It was at the end, of near the end of the movie. Mm -hmm. Was it when they were fighting at the end of the movie? Yeah. Like I said, they're fighting from beginning to end. The, uh, but it doesn't really bore me. No. The fight in the river was pretty good. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, the the fight in the plane, and the river. It was epic. It was that was a that was a that was a pretty good fight, and they fight in a plane in the river in the same battle. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's the same battle. Ain't well, nothing there, about it. At least there's not an explosion. No, the, the, the plane didn't explode. Yeah, it did. It, just, it blew all the pieces. <laughs> They well, shredded that sucker down to nothing. At least the river didn't explode. <laughs> no, the river, the water couldn't explode because it's water. <laughs> I, I believe if if Michael Bay would have exploded the water, he would have exploded the water. <laughs> but he couldn't because it's water. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, it was it was actually it was actually a pretty good movie. You wanna you wanna go ahead and get the rating? The rating here. Uh, tell us how it works. One being completely and utterly horrible. Crap. Say it again. Crap. And say it again. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> and? 10 being the best thing ever. Awesome. Yeah, 10 being the say best again. thing ever. Awesome. Say it again. Awesome, 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 awesome. Uh, what do we want to use this? We don't We don't never use stars. Uh, that's too boring. Uh, yeah, when it's we, too stupid. It doesn't get three stars or four. We actually try to pull stump, something from the, uh, from the movie to use. Uh, like in... Uh, Kung Fu Panda, we used dumpling time. Dumpling time. We used dumpling time. And we used dumpling because that's Panda's favorite food. So, what do you want to pull out of this one? Uh, I don't know if I want to use turtle shells or explosions. How about Krang? Oh, okay. 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 One Krang being crap. <laughs> that kind of rhymes. There we go. Ten Krang being awesome. How many Krang do you give the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? I was actually pleased with it. I gave it, I'll give it a barely an eight. Mm -hmm. It was a solid. It was a solid effort mm -hmm. from a guy who hasn't really been respected in the directing community. Let's just say that. Yeah, he's yeah, had a lot of explosions and 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 a, not a, not a lot of story uh, story lines. I would probably give it about a seven point five. Again, it's worth watching. It's it's worth going to the movies and seeing. And of course, with all the excitement, the explosions, the everything, it's better to see it. it on, really... it, it's better to see it on the big screen. Yeah. Because it it was full of uh, special effects and explosions and blowing up and stuff. So I, I like it. All right. What what, we, what we got coming up next? We got uh, probably some cartoons. We need to get back to some cartoons. We haven't done a cartoon in a couple we weeks. We haven't had. It's because of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This movie comes out of nowhere. And X Men coming in, came out, and of then nowhere. Captain America came of out. Nowhere. So we had three movies there in three weeks that we had to do. Yeah. So we're Kinda gonna do. Stole. We're gonna do Ed, Ed and Eddie. And Cat Dog. I think it's, it's our next two cartoons. Uh, and there might be another movie coming up. I haven't even checked. And I think we've got some requests that we have to do too coming up so we'll 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 get to and the request we'll get to do some lists yeah we're gonna do some more top 10 lists 
top five list, uh, stuff like that. Uh, like I've mentioned, we're probably gonna do some theme songs. Mm-hmm. So top look ten theme to that. songs. Yeah, we like the theme songs. We like songs that just rhyme. Uh huh. Uh huh. So so be sure and hit the groovy button. The oh, groovy. Sorry, like like button. Uh, there should be a groovy button. Shouldn't there be a groovy yeah, button? Yeah, yeah, there should be. Hit the groovy baby button. Uh, hit the groovy button, hit the like button, the subscribe like button. Like and subscribe if you want some more. And be sure and put a comment down. Give uh, us, any, send us some of your thoughts. You know, anything that you want to see us do, us uh, review an, an, another cartoon, another movie. If you want to sit in with us and, and check us out, help us out, uh, just leave a note and we'll get in contact with you. Other than that, we're done. Hit it, cameraman. See you next week.